Bejeweled 4 2 was released just a few days ago. It comes with more than 1000 features and contributed over 300 persons. Inside that massive amount of changes, there are some improvements that turn this version into a life changer. So today I will be showing you the main new stuff that, that, that is really a game changer in Gujou 4 2. And now let's start. So the first thing we are gonna do is to actually download this new version of the engine. In order to do that, you're gonna go to the official website of Goodout. And well, uh, right here you're gonna find this button, download latest for one. But well, if we scroll down a little bit, we're gonna find this post of Goodout for one is here. So we are, we are gonna click there. And here we're gonna be able to actually read and check out all, all, all the new stuff that comes with this version. As you can see, it's a very long post. Today I will only be talking about what I think are the best best features and improvements that are inside this version but um, there are actually a lot of more other changes I'm not gonna be talking about but uh, you can check in the official post. So once we're here we can scroll down again a little bit and here it says if you wish to get straight into the action you can download with Joe 41 now. So if we click this button uh, we're gonna wait until this page loads and as you can see download with Joe 4 for Windows and we see here the button to actually download it for Windows if you want to download this version for other platforms you're gonna scroll down a little bit and here you'll find the supported platforms as you can see you can download also the version for Android or you can also use the web editor but well let's stick to the version for Windows click here because I want the version uh, the, the stable re version and well as usual is just a compressed file we're gonna open and then we have here the executable and this is the console so I'm gonna open the executable and well right here in the editor we can see over here the first new feature that is completely amazing so in order to understand this feature, as you can see, I have created here some projects with some tags. Tags are useful to, for example, only show the projects that have some kind of tag. For example, if I click here the completed project, as you can see, I only see the projects that are tagged with this uh, tag. Or well, for example, if I click here in progress, I only see the ones in progress, etc, etc. So if you want to actually tag some project, firstly you're gonna select one, for example I'm gonna select this hello there, click here manage tags, well here you have the list with all the tags that you have created, but with this icon here you can create one, so for example this is gonna be hello there, you can see it can contain spaces, okay so there we have it and also it assign it to the project very easy to understand and super useful because also for example you may have this option of sort uh, put on last edited okay but you can actually sort by tags which is also as you can see very helpful so now that you have understood uh, this feature let's move on the next one so here we are in an empty project as you can see i have nothing here and uh, this feature is about that you can make windows to float like this so why this feature is so so useful because if you have two displays or even more you can drag and drop this window wherever you want so that you can have your editor much more organized and of course you can have more windows opened at the same time if for example you have this window over here but you want it to come back to its original position which would be right here you just have to close it and as you can see it comes back but the file system isn't the only window that you can make floating there are a lot of more other windows for example here the scene window you can click here then make floating and as you can see i have this window over here or even a most important i believe the script editor you just go to the script window then click here in this icon and there you have your script editor floating 
this feature is maybe uh, not really important or you can't really take advantage of this feature if you only have one monitor because I don't know it, it's not really useful if you have two or even more monitors but well something that you can maybe take advantage of this feature is that you can make for example this window floating and you can drag and drop this window over here then you grab your Windows editor maybe you resize it a little bit and well here you have some kind of a floating window but well of course this is super super more useful if you have a lot of displays now we can create static variables this is a bit more complex to actually understand that's why i've head to the official post i showed you before as you can see it's right here and you scroll down a little bit and you will find here uh, the one that i'm talking about well i believe it's um mm -mm, right here okay so what are static variables static variables store data on the class instead of each instance so they are shared between every instance of the class to make a variable static as you can see you only have to add the static keyword before actually creating the variable this is super similar for example to unity well of course uh, with c sharp they are super super similar in order to actually demonstrate how this new feature work i have here created a, a very simple sample i think you are gonna be able to understand completely firstly i have this icon um scene that is just a sprite with a texture and has also a script this script as you can see has this static variable named total icons count initialized as zero on ready this means that when the game starts playing we're gonna add one to this variable and then on our process which is uh, executed at every frame we are gonna check if we are pressing the key is spa space and if so we are gonna print the value that is in that it's inside our static variable we have created at the very beginning of our script then i also have a main scene that is just a 2d node with a lot of instances of the same scene i showed you before so which is gonna be the result remember we have here in this case uh, 12 instances and in each instance we have a script that says okay in um, in every script we have this line of code that adds one to this variable and this variable is static which means that it's shared between all the instances we have of the object which means this variable is shared between all 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 these objects so if we add one to this variable in each instance and we have 12 instances this means that our final value should be 12 so let's try it out i'm gonna press play okay sorry this was just an error i was trying out something here i'm gonna be talking about later on so okay now if we play it okay and we press the key space as you can see here i have a 12 then if we instead of add one to the variable if we subtract one to the variable what will happen so let's play it press space and we have here minus 12 well of course if for example you add i don't know five it would be as it would be the same as saying okay five by uh 12 so let's play it space and here we have 60. okay so here in my main scene in my main scene script i had this line of code and what i was actually trying here to do is to access the static variables of these scripts why because in unity in c sharp if there is a static variable you can access it okay from other classes from other scripts without any kind of reference so what i was trying to do here is to call this variable total icons count which is static from other script but as you can see uh, i have no result i i can't access it or for example by doing this as you can see i can't access it 
anyway this feature is just amazing and you can make a lot of interesting things of course this is just uh, an example and probably in your game you're not gonna have 12 without icons but i hope with this very simple example you understood how the static variables work well so these are the most important features in Godot for two remember that there are a bunch and a bunch of other features i didn't talk in this video because i believe these are the most interesting and important ones so i really believe that these features can actually turn Godot into a life changer because these features are so so important so incredible as i showed you in the video for example the tag system we are always having a lot of projects going on and we may want to organize them well we would do and this tag system now we can or well the floating windows i have two monitors for example and being able to actually order the editor uh, as i want using two monitors is something that is also super nice and well the new um, static variables also are really really nice and as usual good joke will keep updating updating and giving us new features to discover so thank you for watching if you want to know more things about good joke i want to stay up to date with the latest good joke news please subscribe to the channel because i'm always uploading new content about this engine thanks for watching and see you on the next one bye bye